What's happening, brothers? Welcome to another episode of Nate's Chocolate Convo. I'm Nate. This is the only podcast where building the man is the business. We're going to dive right into this. Peep this. We're going to conversate. Men are stuck in fantasy and women are stuck in fantasy. Let me explain. Men view women from the lenses of OnlyFans, Instagram, Facebook, videos, reality TV shows, and most importantly, last but not least, pornography. When you watch this stuff every day, all day, seven days a week, your mind begins to be reprogrammed and warped, meaning what you see on TV is what you perceive to be out there. So men are chasing these baddies, these Instagram thoughts, and coming up short. And this is why you're having problems because you're chasing women that's not good for you. These women are selfish, inconsiderate. They're all about themselves. They have men all over the world watching them. They are sterilized to compliments, meaning compliments doesn't arouse them anymore. It doesn't mean anything to them. You can compliment a woman like that and she just blow it off like it's, like it's nothing. The reason being is because she gets it all the time. Her DMs, her Facebook photos, texts from men that she meet out and about, on a job, her office, whatever she at, she always has a man hitting on her. So she becomes desynthesized to compliments from men because she gets it all the time. Now she has the big head. Her vanity meter is to the heavens. Me, myself, and I. On some cases, me, myself, and Irene. These women are stuck in a box. It's all about them. Never about you. Flip it to the women. You chase men through the lenses of your perception of romance novels, uh, 20 Shades of Grey, reality TV shows, music videos, and what you see out and about. The high value man, the 1%. You're chasing men like that. If it's 1%, then what is your chances of running into that 1% when you have all these other women that want that 1%? You are chasing a fantasy, just like the man is chasing a fantasy. Men and women in America, especially in the black culture, we are chasing fantasies. We are chasing images that we see on TV in these music videos and we think this is reality. A man is supposed to be all men is supposed to be six feet tall and a hundred million dollars in his bank account. All women are supposed to be small in the waist, thick in their thighs, perky tits, long flowing yak as they call it, or as I call it, fake fleece. That's a fantasy. That is not reality on both ends. And this is why the dating game is screwed up. It's too many people on both sides chasing fantasies instead of stepping to a reality, meaning deal with people that's on your level, mentally on your level. Deal with people who want you. There are plenty of prosperous and successful men that's not in the 1%, but they are very prosperous and successful. Many of them. It's not just that 1%. A high value man is based on the perception of himself and how people look at him. Women. It's the same day for you. 
Men, it's the same thing for you. There are plenty of women that look good, but they are not with the Me Too movement. They are not with the feminist movement. They are not on Instagram, Facebook, only fans. They are in touch with reality, but they are very attractive. There is a woman out there like that that will love you for you. You have to meet a woman that's on the same level as you. A woman that was want you for who you are. And not a fantasy. Until that happens, the dating game is going to get worse and worse and worse. And this is why we can't have healthy relationships. Because we are chasing images that we see on TV and movies. Too many men and women living their life through a uh, Alice in Wonderland mentality. The stuff is not real. It is not. It, it is designed to entertain, but most importantly, it is de designed to screw you up in your head. And this is why you're having problems. Men are having problems and women are having problems because we are chasing the wrong people. A woman shouldn't chase a man anyway. And a man should only approach a woman if he perceives her to be good for him. The conversation will confirm what he saw, what he's seen in most cases. With intent to get married and procreate, have a family, build a community, and then eventually a better society. That is the purpose of men and women relationships. That is the purpose. Not just for a good time and a joy ride. And this is on both ends. I had that same problem until I switched things around. Once you switch things around on both ends, you will meet better people. You will meet better women and you will meet better men. And it's just that simple. Stop with the entertainment, the Facebook, the Instagram. Only fans, that's not reality. Uh, movies, music, videos, these rappers, it's just entertainment. It's a warp entertainment, but nevertheless, entertainment. You are being entertained. That is not life. Until you change that mindset, you will always have problems. And eventually, you will die alone. And this goes for the men as well as the women. Kick the fantasy, step into reality. And you will have a better outcome. Until that happens, stay where you at. And I guarantee you, in the next 60 years, you still will be where you are at. Thanks again for tuning in. If you like this video, click like. Subscribe to this channel if you want to have more information and see more videos. Share this information, but most importantly, receive it and apply it, and you will see a difference. As always, one, two, peace.